Okay, so what we've got now is we've got um, a terrain and we've got a character that can move around. So it's not really that fun a game. You're moving around, but it's it's all right. It's quite cool. But what we probably want is some sort of enemy that uh, maybe try to get us or we're we're trying to get. Um, now, although they're not my favourite sort of games, they're not. I don't think great games. Shooting games are probably the simplest sort of games to make on Kodu. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another character in here, and then we're going to set Kodu up so he can shoot. Okay, and then we are going to see if we can destroy that character, um, and then see if we can get them that character to move and shoot itself. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is another character. Now this will be what we call an NPC, so a non-player character. So I'm going to click on here, on my character icon, I'm going to select in the lava area, uh, and I am going to have a little a little boat wasn't in there, was it? Uh, so there's a ship that is now sitting here on the ocean. So I've got my little ship there. Let's let's change this colour. Remember, hover over. It's a pink ship. Ah, that's a strange colour, but we'll have that one. So now he's sat there. So I'm going to program Kodu now to shoot. So if I go right click and program on Kodu, I'm going to add a new section. So you see, we've now got a section on doing this. So if I go when uh, keyboard, let's go, oh, it's under, I think it's on a misc, is misc space. So when keyboard space is pressed, I'm going to shoot. So I click escape, click play and play my game again. And now when I press space, I shoot. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to this boat. Ah, right, we've got a problem. You see, I'm hovering over the boat. Now, to solve that problem, I'm going to change one of Kobe's settings. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go change settings, and I'm going to scroll down. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go change height. I'm going to drag his height down a bit so he's just above the floor. Escape. And now, this time, when I play it, should be able to hit the boat. There we go. You see, I'm hitting the boat. If I keep hitting it, bang, I've destroyed it. Okay. So I can now shoot. Well, that's not particularly hard. So let's get the boat to move. So to get the boat to move, I'm going to use this tool here. Now, this is the path tool. So if I click on it, okay, I can click and I get a dot. Now, this is going to be a path that this boat is going to follow. Now, when I'm on that dot, I've got a choice of colors. So I am... Um, going to pick blue to go with his blue and I'm going to click around this is the path this boat is going to follow and when I'm done I can click escape and there's a little path there now the boat isn't going to follow that path if I press play the boat is still going to do nothing I'm sorry my code is being a bit silly because it's following him so that's going to do nothing. So I need to make it follow that path. So I'm going to program, right click and program again. I'm going to say do, and we're going to say move, and then plus I'm going to put on path. Now it's a blue path, so I need to put path color and choose a blue path. So move on the blue path. You notice I've not got a when, because it's not when. I just want him to do it all the time. So I click escape, and now I run it. And you should notice, if I turn around, that that ship is now moving about on that path. It's banging into things a bit, but at least it's moving on the path. And it'll go around there, and that makes life slightly harder for us, doesn't it? It's not the smooth, most smooth of movements. We can edit that later if we wanted to. But at least I have to chase him down a bit before I can shoot him. Ooh, I've missed him. Stuck. I've breached him. There we go. So now I've, I've destroyed him. So what I can now do is I can make him shoot as well. So I'm going to right click on him now. I'm going to program. And in his second program, I'm not going to do a when. I'm just going to say shoot. And now this is where it gets tricky because what he will do 
is he will do he will shoot a lot look how many shots are coming out each time now that's going to be really hard stop so what we can do is right click program him shoot so let's say when and I am going to put timer and let's say one second shoot so now when I run it waits one second in between each shot and now he's shooting at us and we can shoot him I'm still going to get him but it's now made the game a little bit more complicated okay so that's your next stage okay get your coder get an enemy coder in an enemy character in pop a path on it get your character by programming it when you press the space bar to shoot and the enemy character to move on the path and then every second to shoot back at you and then you've got a little game that you can play so have a go at doing that